Hey, it's Johnny here, and today we're going to be talking about the secrets of the Pokemon anime. Some other information you will see in this video will explain several things that aren't explained in the Pokemon anime. Takashi Shuru, the original writer for the Pokemon anime. He is responsible for writing the Pokemon story for the anime as well as creating the characters. He wrote the first two episodes as well as many others. He essentially set up the story for the Pokemon's anime. He also wrote the first three movies. Takashi Shuru wrote two Pokemon novels titled The Animation Volume Number 1 and 2 that revealed many details of the Pokemon anime. They may not be considered canon due to the fact that the anime took a completely different path than he intended, but it is the closest thing we have what the original writer wanted for the Pokemon anime. First, we're going to start off with details about Ash. He was a normal child who attended primary school. He was a pitcher for his school baseball team. This would explain his good aim while throwing Pokeballs. He was bullied in his school because he would play alone and kids would make fun of him because he only seen his father in pictures. We don't know the identity of Ash's father, but the novel does mention quite a bit of information about Ash's father. Ash as a kid always asks about his father to his mom. She would tell him, that both his dad and grandpa were Pokemon trainers and that they were great Pokemon trainers. At least that's what Ash had in his mind. Delia would state that Ash's dad and grandpa were surreal trainers who surpassed the Okuri Masara. Okuri Masara was a legendary trainer. We will come back to him later in this video. Ash believed the story that his mother told him, but until one day his PC was delivered and suddenly his dad and grandpa became different people. Delia got close to little Ash and said, Sorry, I told you a falsehood. Ash confused, quoting, Falsehood? She then states, Surrealistic trainer. Surrealistic is super realistic. Super realistic means to stand aloof from reality. In other words, it was nonsense. She then said, Give me a break. Delia asked Ash to use his PC to search more information on his dad and grandpa, but he would not find much about them because she had told him lies. They were not successful trainers. Matter of fact, they were pretty bad. There was a ranking of the top 10,000 Pokemon trainers in the world. Ash's grandpa or dad was never listed in those rankings, meaning they were pretty crappy trainers. She mentions about the membership of the World Pokemon Trainers Association, which had a list of all the trainers around the world. She then quotes, your dad and grandpa aren't even authorized yet, so they aren't official trainers yet. Ash later asked, what are they doing now? Delia responded, she didn't know, probably still aiming to become trainers. Believe it or not, Ash's mom Delia wanted to become a Pokemon trainer as well, but she couldn't because she had inherited her mother's restaurant, as well as her parents opposing her decision when she became 10. Later, the restaurant was turned into a inn. Delia met Ash's father when she was 18 at her mother's restaurant. She fell in love with him and they got married. And you know the rest, Ash was created. Then Ash's father decided to leave on his journey to become the Pokemon Master and never even bothered to return home. Ash's father's name was never revealed, so we may not even know much about him ever. Now we're going to be talking about other topics related to the Pokemon novel. First, we're going to start off with education in the Pokemon world. In the Pokemon anime, the education ended at the age of 10. After the trainer's 10th birthday, the children are considered adults. Following April, they can choose to continue with secondary school or focus on other things such as Pokemon training, a career, or even getting married. Ash's Age The book states that the day Ash departed on his adventure, he was 10 years, 10 months, and 10 days old. As stated before, they can continue their adventure on April 1st. Now, since this states that he was 10 years and 10 months and 10 days old on his departure, if we go back before April 1st, it would give an exact birthday of May 22nd. The anime did have a few writer mistakes stating that once they reach 10, they can start their journey. It wouldn't make sense though, if Gary or many other trainers were born at the same time. Now, since the anime doesn't really have logic, he still looks the same over all the new seasons, but at least we pinned down his possible birthday. Pallet Town Pallet Town in Japanese is known as Masara Town. It's a small town with not many occupations. The book states children who pass the age of 10 set off on an adventure. 
Unfortunately, the trainers are bad because they always end up being in the last of the rankings of the top 10,000 Pokemon trainers. The Legendary Trainer of Masara Town. The book states 100 years before Masara Town was the official name, it was named Masiru Village. It wasn't until a man named Okuri Masara who stood at rank 921 in the top 10,000 trainers. It was the highest achievement for the residents of the small town, so they honored his accomplishment and named it Masara Town or Pallet Town in English. Professor Oak's Family Professor Oak's name in Japanese is Yokuri Okido. He is related to the Masara Okido. He is a grandson. Oak has two older brothers who one is a mayor of the city and the other is the head of the post office. The cheerleaders who follow Gary were actually hired from the mayor, the boy's great uncle. So Gary was fake all along. He really didn't have these fans. Studies of Professor Oak and his relationship with Ashendelia. Professor Oak at the age of 20 made his theory about Pokemon being different from other creatures of this world. It was this thesis that led him to the success in the study of Pokemon. At the age of 25, he was promoted to rank of professor for a university in Saldon City. When he was 30, he returned to his hometown, Pallet Town, where he opened up his laboratory for unknown reasons. Rumors say a girl broke his heart who he supervised as a trainer. Ash didn't know much about Professor Oak, but he had only seen him a few times at night at his mother's inn. He ordered very basic food and ate in silence while reading a book. It was very odd to Delia because those foods could be bought at any type of grocery store. Maybe he had a relationship with Delia or someone else? Who knows? Brock's story. You ever wonder where Brock is always looking for love from different ladies? Well, this is because he is looking for a mother for his younger siblings. You see, Brock's mother gets married and divorced several times. She has problems with running the Pewter City gym. Brock's father left because he wanted to become a Pokemon trainer and Brock's mother tried to manage the gym by herself, which isn't an easy task at all. Gym leaders have strict rules such as they lose three matches in a row, they are kicked from that role. Maintaining a gym was expensive as well, so she remarried several times but all husband ended up running away unable to hold up to the responsibility. Brock's brothers are all children of different husbands. Wow. When Brock got his gym leader license, his mother decided to run away from home. He was forced to give up his dreams and stay with his brothers to run the gym. Luckily, his brothers later became gym leaders and he was able to go along with Ash. Misty's family. In one of the chapters, it states that Misty's parents decided to leave the gym and left it to their daughters. Shudo also made a confirmation that Misty was around the same age as Ash. Coming to an end, this stuff may not be canon anymore since the anime is headed in a different direction by different writers, but it gives us an insight what the original writer wanted for the anime. For many reasons, he may not have been allowed to include them all in the anime. The novel may have more details, but they are extremely rare to find. Matter of fact, you can't find them. They're only in Japan. There are more details about the novel that I may not been able to mention in this video because the novel can't even be found online. There are only a couple owners of them and well, many have not decided to scan them or translate them. So if you own a copy of this Pokemon animation volume 1 or 2, it'd be nice to see some scans or maybe somebody could translate them for us because it is pretty interesting information on what kind of vision the original creator or writer of the Pokemon anime might have had. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section what you think about it. Also, if you haven't checked out some of my previous videos, make sure to click on the boxes in the middle.